In this video, I'm going to go over creating the certificates and actually submitting your app to the iOS App Store. So the first thing that we're going to do is log into developer.apple.com and we're going to register an app ID. So what I want to do is just click on the little plus here. I'm going to say, I'm going to call this Dradcast app. If this is an app for production to actually submit to the App Store, we're going to use an explicit app ID. So I'm going to put com.appstore.dread. And it's just kind of a reverse domain notifier uh, or um, identifier. You can call it pretty much anything you want. Um, on the end here, I would recommend using something similar to this in the beginning. So I don't need any of these app services, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue and confirm. They add a little something to you at the beginning. I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm just going to go ahead and press submit. So we're done doing the identifier. Um, you want to make sure that you create a production certificate. So you can add that here and just kind of go through that. Um, I actually already did this, so um, I have certificates here for this. So once we do that, we also want to go to the provisioning profiles, create a distribution profile for our app. And I'm just going to go to provisioning profiles distribution, click on app store and continue. Then I'm going to select an app ID. I'm going to use the app ID that I just created, press continue, and then I'm going to use one of these, uh, pr a distribution certificate that I uh, already created. So I'm just going to use the one that will last the longest. In this case, it's that one. And then I'm going to give this profile a name. So I'm going to call it Dragcast Production. And then I'm going to generate it. So once that's done generating, I can download it and save it to a folder that I will remember. And click on done there. So I also need to go back to certificates, my production certificates, and the one that I used, I need to download that. And once I've downloaded it, I can actually go and double click on it and it'll add it to Keychain. And then I just have to find it. So it is this one right here. And then what I'm gonna do is select both of these here and export them. I'm just right clicking and exporting it. So I'm gonna call this Drad Production and save it. It's gonna ask me for a password, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a password in here. Make sure you remember the password because um, it will ask you for this in PhoneGap build. So once I've generated all those files, that is everything that I need to actually create the file in PhoneGap build. So I'm gonna go back to PhoneGap build and I'm going to click on add a key um, and this is going to be Dradcast Production. And just give it a name so you can kind of, the keys get kind of confusing after you generate a bunch of them. So just be clear when, when you're naming stuff, whether it's development or distribution and kind of what, you know, company it's coming from and everything. So I'm going to choose the P12 file that I generated, which is this one. And then the provisioning profile, which is this one. And then I'm going to submit it. And it's not going to work at first because you have to actually enter the key or, or the password that you created. So go ahead and click on it and then enter your password, submit, and then we're going to rebuild. And if everything went right with our certificate generation, then it should work. If there's an error or something, it usually means that there was something wrong when you generated your certificates. Sometimes 
Um, you, the actual certificate that you generate has to be associated with the provisioning profile. Um, that, can, that can sometimes be the problem if you see an error. Um, and it, it just um, PhoneGap Build has some documentation if you get stuck. So that actually worked, built it. So now what I can do is actually download this IPA file and I'm going to put it in here. And that is going to be the file that you actually submit to the App Store. So you want to kind of hold on to that.